It was preparation day for Passover, and it was about noon. And Pilate said to the Jews, Behold your king! And they cried out, Take him away! Take him away! Crucify him! And Pilate said to them, Shall I crucify your king? And the chief priests answered, We have no king but Caesar. Then they handed him over to, to them to be crucified. So they took Jesus, and carrying the cross by himself, he went out to what was called the place of the skull, in Hebrew, Golgotha. This is what happened to Jesus after he was uh, condemned to death. He was given his cross. He was asked to carry it, but he took up the cross and carried it. What an awful thing to do. In today's way, it would be like giving Jesus a rifle as he walked to the firing squad, or to give Jesus the cocktails of poison as he walked to his table before he was executed. This is what was going on. It sounded like Jesus was having the cross given to him, but Jesus took up his cross. What's going on with that? Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus inside the praetorium and gathered the whole cohort around him. They stripped him of his clothes and they threw a scarlet military cloak around him. Weaving a crown out of thorns, they placed it on his head and reed at his right hand. And kneeling before him, they mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews! They spat on him and took the reed and kept striking him over his head. And when they had mocked him, they stripped him of the cloak, dressed him in his own clothes, and left him, uh, le led him off to crucify him. This, from Matthew's account, again, looks like the cross is given unto Jesus. Yet Jesus takes up the cross himself. Have you ever had an experience in your life where you had this very large undertaking and you didn't think it was very fair, but you had to do it? And if you did it in a way that was begrudging, maybe it didn't come out as well as it could have? Jesus saw these circumstances which were being done unto him as a gift. He didn't just take the cross because it was thrust upon him. He took the cross as a gift and he carried it. He was able to take this cross because he trusted in the love of his Father and depended upon the, whole, the power and the accompaniment of the Holy Spirit. He was able to take up his cross and walk. If he didn't take up his cross, think what might not have happened, because it was from the cross that Jesus died, but also from the cross Jesus forgave those who crucified him. It was from the cross that Jesus prayed. It was from the cross that not only did he die, but then his loving Father was able to raise him up to new life. If he didn't take the cross in the first place, none of these other things would have been able to happen. And what a sorry state human affairs might have been in if he didn't take up his cross. So how does this all apply uh, to his disciples, to us? When Jesus first talks about the cross in the Gospel of Matthew in chapter 10, uh, he speaks of the cross to them, to his disciples, he, as he begins to gather them the ones who follow Jesus to carry on his mission. And Jesus says to his disciples, and whoever does not take up his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. And so, 
as disciples of Jesus, if we trust in the love of the Father, if we believe in the power and the accompaniment of the Holy Spirit, when we carry our crosses after taking them up, we will discover our own Simons, our own Veronicas, our own people offering to assist us in any way that we might be able to be fulfilled. But first of all, all we have to do is take up our cross and follow Jesus.